It is an ancient mariner, and he stoppeth one of three. By thy long grey beard and glittering eye, now wherefore stopst thou me? The bridegroom's doors are opened wide, and I am next of kin. The guests are met, the feast is set, mayst hear the merry din. He holds him with his skinny hand. There was a ship, quoth he. Hold off, unhand me, greybeard loon. Eft soon his hand dropped he. He holds him with his glittering eye. The wedding guest stood still and listens like a three years child. The mariner at his will. The wedding guest sat on a stone. He cannot choose but hear. And thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. The ship was cheered. The harbor cleared. Merrily did we drop below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. The sun came up upon the left, out of the sea came he, and he shone bright, and on the right went down into the sea. Higher and higher every day, till over the mast at noon. The wedding guest here beat his breast, for he heard the loud bassoon. The bride hath paced into the hall, red as a rose as she, nodding their heads before her grows the merry minstrelsy. The wedding guest here beat his breast, yet he cannot choose but hear, for thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. And now the storm blast came, and he was tyrannous and strong. He struck with his o'ertaking wings and chased us south along with sloping masts and dipping prow, as who pursued with yell and blow still treads the shadow of his foe and forward bends his head. The ship drove fast, loud roared the blast, and southward ere we fled. And now there came both mist and snow, and it grew wondrous cold, and ice, mast high, came floating by, as green as emerald. And through the drifts, the snowy clifts did send a dismal sheen. Nor shapes of men nor beasts we ken. The ice was all between. The ice was here, the ice was there, the ice was all around. It cracked and growled and roared and howled like noises in a swound. At length did cross an albatross. Through the fog it came, as if it had been a Christian soul. We hailed it in God's name. It ate the food it ne'er had eat, and round and round it flew. The ice did split with a thunder fit. The helmsman steered us through, and a good south wind sprung up behind. The albatross did follow, and every day, for food or play, came to the mariner's hollow. In mist or cloud, on mast or shroud, it perched for vespers nine, whilst all the night, through fog smoke white, glimmered the white moonshine. God save the ancient mariner from the fiends that plagued thee thus. Why looks thou so? With my crossbow, I shot the albatross. And the sun now rose upon the right, out of the sea came he, still hid in mist, and on the left went down into the sea. And the good south wind still blew behind, but no sweet bird did follow, nor any day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. And I had done a hellish thing, and it would work him woe, for all of her I'd killed the bird that made the breeze to blow. Ah, wretch, said they, the bird to slay that made the breeze to blow. 
nor dim nor red like God's own head, the glorious sun uprist. Then all averred, I killed the bird that brought the fog and mist. Twas right, said they, such birds to slay that bring the fog and mist. The fair breeze blew, the white foam flew, the furrow followed free. We were the first that ever burst into that silent sea. Down dropped the breeze, the sails dropped down. Twas sad as sad could be, and we did speak only to break the silence of the sea. All in a hot and copper sky, the bloody sun at noon, right up above the mast did stand, no bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, we stuck, nor breath, nor motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. The very deep did rot, oh Christ, whatever this should be. These slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. About, about in a reel and rout, the death fires danced at night. The water like a witch's oils burnt green and blue and white. And some in dreams assured were of the spirit that plagued us so. Nine fathom deep he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue through utter drought was withered at the root. We could not speak, no more than if we had been choked with soot. Oh, well a day, what evil looks, said I, from old and young. Instead of the cross, the albatross about my neck was hung.